The date is Sunday, August 19th, 2018. What you're looking at are photo albums of all of the Kaifi archives, pictures and so on, that were recovered in 2016 that had been in storage and somewhat missing since around 1999 or so. Over the summer, I took all of our old photo albums that we had and just loose photos and you, if you are on the Kingdom Facebook page, you've probably seen over and over and over again the pictures posted. Uh, I scanned about a thousand pictures four times until they were scanned correctly. You'll notice that um, pictures from the 1970s, for instance, and, and 1980s had become very desaturated in their colors. And the scanner that I bought was able to resaturate those photographs. So the pictures that you actually see that I've posted uh, online in photo albums on the Kingdom page, they actually didn't really exist until I scanned them and brought their color back. You'll see shortly as I open up these uh, photo albums. Uh, each photo album has a, um, a brass plate that says Chi-Fi Fraternity USC, and I'll, I'll show that to you a little bit closer in a moment. Um, but right now, these are the photo albums that I have spent my summer building and that I will bring over to the house uh, over at USC, the Kaifi house, and that's where these are going to live. If you stop by the house, you'll be able to take a look um, at these different photo albums. The uh, entire project costs, I haven't added it up yet, but it exceeded, I would imagine, over 600 bucks to do all of this. Um, all of the photo albums that we had were uh, probably uh, in the neighborhood of you know 20 to 30 years old they were all falling apart and our photographs and our photo history would have not been preserved without replacing all of those old photo albums and buying new ones hopefully these photo albums will allow us to maintain our archives for at least another 30 years if they're taken care of and maintained uh, and they're um, not allowed to fall into any kind of disrepair or neglect. These should last a very long time. But I want to give you a quick tour of these photo albums so you can see what's in them. The first one was by far, I'll try not to get my fingers in the way as I do this. The, the first photo album on the bottom left here, this, this contains here, let's, let's look at the brass plaque for a second. Let me get to see if I get a close-up of that. It says Kaifi Fraternity USC. And this first photo album, these were all of the um, newspaper clippings that I recovered. Uh, this album took me about 30 hours to put together. I had to painstakingly take out every single article from the Daily Trojan uh, off of old photo paper, photo album paper, and I had to get a special tool from an art store to do that. Uh, there was some damage that was done to these. You'll notice like there's little things like that. The glue was just too tight that was uh, placed on them from the 1940s and 1950s, I believe. And uh, so, but I would say that about 97, 98% of these archives were properly preserved. This was a, an enormous amount of work. I also want to mention, and you'll see, I've, I've scanned every single one of these articles that uh, are also online, and uh, you can see them there. It's probably the better place to actually look at them. Now, every photo album. I included um, a cover page like this that, that says what it is, and I also included a letter explaining what's contained in the photo album so that future generations of Kaifis can have some context as to uh, what went into this. this. This particular photo album all in, I had to get extra pages. Oops. You can see how thick that one is. Here's kind of a normal size right there. This one is massive. Um, this whole photo album alone probably exceeded a hundred bucks and like I said it was it took me the longest to put together um, all of these articles are from the 1940s and 50s I might have mentioned that so you can see a little bit of damage there but everything was scanned before I um, I removed them and uh, and and remounted them on on new paper now the old photo album that looks like it had been put together maybe in the 80s I couldn't tell um, took pages from the albums that were put together in the 40s and 50s uh, and just simply put them into a new book but each page while each page from the 1940s and 50s photo albums 
had two pages worth of uh, archives. Only one was seen on the 1980s version of the photo album. So half of these um, photographs and articles and everything haven't been seen for whatever it is, 30 years uh, or more. And uh, even though they were in storage for 17 years, this is the first time they've probably been seen since, I guess, the 80s when, when they were all replaced. So that's the 1940s, 1950s uh, archive photo album. And um, then we're going to move on to, this one is the late 60s and early 70s. Now these photographs were the most desaturated in color. You can see they're very yellow. And in the scans that I did, and faded, a lot of them are just simply faded. The scans that I did brought all that color back. And you can see how nicely they turned out if you go onto the Kingdom Facebook page and take a look at all of them. And again, all of these photos and all of these books were scanned a total of four times until they were done correctly, in my opinion. Um, this photo album is mid to late 80s. These also had some color desaturation. You don't really notice it until you scan them and you put the, the color back in. And again, each one has its own letter. Um, there's composites where, where I had them. I've included those as well. Okay, let's look at this one real quick. This is the late 1970s. I guess that should have gone first before the other photo album. You can see in these photographs that the color is very desaturated. These actually look really nice now uh, once the color has been restored. Um, and again, you can find every single one of these uh, online on the Kingdom Facebook page. Here we have, which one is this? The early, mid, and late 1980s, to be completely vague. Um, it's Matt Vaskersian right there. And there's Randy right there. Uh, Kevin Peterson right there. Uh, but these all, these are all, uh, there's Doug Kramer. These all look um, really nice right now. And they also look really nice in the photo albums as well. Although I believe we're going to continue to experience. Um, some more uh, color desaturation as, as time goes on with these, but at least we have them all preserved. These are all Gary Stone photographs. So that's the early to mid to late 1980s. This is the late 1980s to 1990s. This, I, I had the fewest 1990s photographs out there. Um, this, there, were re there really wasn't much at all that I could preserve because there just wasn't anything. I found a, a newsletter that the guys from the 1990s had done. But this photo album is mostly blank, as you can see. And I'm hoping that if people from the 90s or people that have pictures from the 90s, uh, and there's, there's another letter, that they can help fill this album out with anything that's found in the future. The last two are kind of my favorites. Uh, the first one, when we dug up our archives, there was a photo album uh, that I had absolutely no idea. I could not identify anybody in the photo album, and uh, I wrote about that in here. I have, I have no idea who these people are. Maybe you do. I did post some of these pictures on the Facebook page, and no one responded in terms of identifying who these pictures are. But I decided to make a photo album uh, of them anyway because, I don't know, I'm hoping someday someone will be able to identify these people. and. Uh, and maybe return it to the proper owner. Wouldn't it be nice if you found a whole bunch of your photos in some random fraternity house that uh, that someone decided to preserve and keep? So maybe maybe that person will materialize. We never know. But right now it's the unknown photo album. And then I put this photo album together. This is the last one. And I thought this would be kind of a fun idea. This is. A photo album of 2016 and onward and this is essentially other than uh, our refounding fathers or founding fathers composite that I was able to find and I put together a letter as well um, is there something else no this is a completely blank photo album that I'm hoping the guys in the house now uh, will fill up with their own photographs I know that not a lot of photographs are actually put together these days um, but I'm hoping that they'll at least maybe print out some of their digital photos and include composites and whatever else they come up with so that when they graduate and leave and move on and start their 
uh, lives after graduation that they'll leave a photograph of themselves behind in these photo albums. So this is what the new Kai-Fi photo archives looks like. Um, I hope you're able to stop by the house and check them out yourself and uh, I hope the guys that are there now and that join in the future will uh, work really hard to continue to preserve these over the next few decades and um, uh, that when the time comes to replace these photo albums with new photo albums, say another 30 years from now, that uh, we'll have our records intact and that it will be very easy to simply transfer those color desaturation and all, but um, I hope in 30 years the guys know that they've been scanned uh, as of 2018, the summer of 2018, and that all the color has been um, uh, preserved as well as put back so that uh, you can get a, a pretty good idea of what it looked like in the, in the 1960s and even the 1940s and 50s. Um, you can see how often Kai-Fi appeared in the Daily Trojan and who all the people were that were USC Kai-Fi's. Take care and uh, please enjoy. Thanks so much. If you need to, if you want to reach me, if you haven't been able to see any of these photographs, I, I have those uh, available. I can make those available to you. I can send you a link so that you can see all the digital photographs. If you're not on the Kingdom page, just email me. My email is scott, S-C-O-T-T -T, dot Benton, B-E-N-T-O-N at iCloud.com. And I'll send you that link and you can download them or look at them online or whatever instead of coming over to the house. But hopefully you'll come to the house and Take a look for yourself. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye.